know we bounced back second half and went out and worked. Yeah. Fired up about going on the road now? Are you excited about that? Well, yeah, of course, you know, going into uh, Nebraska, you know, I played there, I think, once, I think it was two years ago. Great, great atmosphere. So, you know, that, that's what we play college football for, just going to atmospheres like that and just have a good time. I think you broke, like, four tackles on your second <laughs> touchdown. Do, do, do you like that a little bit, man? I mean, yeah, just, you know, being a physical wide receiver, you know, I, you know, as I know, I like to block. But just going in there, just drop my shoulder a little bit, and then getting in the end zone was pretty special. I mean, I think that same drive, you had the block that freed up Colin. Yeah. So is that, like, the perfect drive for you? Yeah, I came to the sideline. Coach Steph was like, I mean, the touchdown was nice, but but you took a two-for-one after college. So, you know, it's pretty special just going out there, you know, blocking for my teammates, showing that I'm not a selfish guy. I do anything to the team. When you guys have needed it, you kind of leaned into the passing game a little bit. What do you think is the key to get uh, the run game going, and, and how do you think the pass game helps you? I mean, the pass game, you know, it's pretty good. You know, over, over the last few years, Luke's has done a good job of getting the ball up in the air. But, you know, the more we attack them in the air, I feel like the more to lighten up the box and allow our running backs to get downhill. Looking at fan attendance from last game to this game after halftime, how do you think – those bigger numbers versus no student section affects you guys? I mean, you know, it's football. You know, the crowd plays a huge role at times, you know, sometimes on third down, especially for the defense. But, you know, we playing football, so everything, our main focus is on the field. So, I mean, sometimes the fans, they mess around with us a little bit, but only time they really factors in with us is when we're in the road. Pat Bielema kind of spilled the beans a little bit, saying he got into them a little bit at halftime. Did you feel like that led to that first drive and those those first drives coming out of half? Oh, yeah, I came I came into the locker room just telling the boys, like, we got to pick this up. Like, there, there was no reason that they should have been that close in the game with us. You know, I felt like we came in just a, a little too confident. And boys, hit it, like I said, hit us in the mouth a little bit. So I went into the locker room, checked them boys, made sure everything was straight, made sure everybody did their job and went out there excel. What does it say about this group that you, were, that you and Coach and others, I'm assuming, were able to to shoot everybody straight and everybody was reacting to it well? I mean, it's, it's a respect thing, you know, being a captain and also, you know, respecting our coaches. So once we came into the locker room, you know, Coach said that straight as well. He just told us, like, there was no reason. Like, these guys should be in the game with us, so we need to lock in, do our job, and focus on the main thing. What have you noticed about how Luke operates in the RPO? It seems like you guys have some success out of that today. I mean, I feel like Luke, he, he kind of loves the RPO because not only he can throw it, hand it off, but he can also, you know, take off and run with it. So I feel like the more we, we get a little more RPO and Luke, it boosts his confidence even more. What's that do offensively when you guys are hitting on that play? I mean, you know, it, it keeps the safety soft. So, you know, um, safeties are huge, huge in the run fit. So just being able to RPO, go over top of their head, keep them soft and allow running backs to get down here. I know it's football, right? But uh, you know, there's there's a couple plays, a couple penalties that go around, uh, happen throughout the game. How how do you guys uh, handle that and throughout the game, and and how do you go forward? Uh, I mean, you just. That? It's just, it's just the next play mentality, you know. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to come back in on Sundays, watch the film, we're going to learn from it. But that was kind of our main focus, just kind of eliminate DBOs. We try not to beat ourselves, but, you know, there's a lot of penalties. Of course, some, some mistakes on my house. So, you know, just next play mentality, just go out there and play ball and everything works for us. But the 